does it feel to feel nothing at all? I wonder. I imagine it's great, but the world has suddenly lost its color. moments without you when I lost you anger and sadness they're always there they're always pretty rough to cope with feelings oh feelings you tear me apart and I wish I could start again so I wanted to show you something I did the other day when in London. Now this is a sketch I did on the train going to London and it's actually my least favourite of all of them. But the core part are these four sketches. These are actually really really quick sketches that I did at the Royal Academy of Arts. It's a gallery you will have seen me visit um, if you've seen the video I did in London. There was basically just this room full of statues where you could sit and they had art supplies you could borrow to sketch some of them. And I really really enjoy the way these turned out. I think this one and this one are my two favourites.
Spend my days with my head in my hands and I go outside and I'll fall apart. I wanna be scared by passing time. The world it seems gets more unkind. Inevitable tragedy will soon be mine. I should just pack up and run away again Let you forget that you were once my friend And watch another go on and do better without me Self-deprecating thoughts, interrupting all the time, emphasizing all the traits that I wish weren't mine. They speak louder than everybody. Try to keep my eyes closed as my outlook isn't bright. Compulsively complaining when I haven't got the right. I hate the way that I think and act. To end reality, but I feel hesitant. Optimistic that the future will be more concerned than the present. It's so unfortunate. Thank you.
So, I wanted to organise some stuff from today into my scrapbook. I went to the cinema earlier to see Little Women, which, by the way, I found absolutely amazing. And I like to keep things like movie tickets and stuff of that kind, so I'm just going to stick it all in before I lose it. I am now mixing some paint. I rarely get to use a palette knife just because I usually mix like a lot of different colours and not in very large amounts. But I need to do kind of an overlay of impasto like paint on this recreation painting I did. So that's what I'm going to be doing now and hopefully it turns out decent. I've done some tests before but this is the first time I'm doing it on a bigger piece. So let's hope. I have just received a very exciting parcel. Basically, you have seen me earlier carve some liner cut designs and I ordered some more material so that I could make more liner cuts and don't necessarily have to work like, in school and with the school's materials. And these actually look so cool. The ones I've used before are brown, but these ones are like a dark gray green color. It's so pretty and I love it. And I can't wait to get to work on them. I've also decided to organise some of my art supplies in this box that my host mum gave me because it was just all of a mess otherwise. And I've got some brushes over here in this jam jar and then down here I just put my acrylic paint tubes. Over here's the linoleum I just received and then in this other box I have my gouache tube as well as some random inks. Here I've got yellow and black. I've been absolutely loving taking some time to draw before bed because I think I've mentioned before how I don't get all that much time for personal sketches and stuff anymore. So this chill like half an hour, 45 minutes before bed while watching like YouTube videos or random shows have been like so important. And here I was watching an episode of Scam Italy and I stopped at one point to take some pictures from a scene and that's what I was drawing. But these have been so important and so relaxing, especially for someone like me who's never had to stick to deadlines for school when it comes to creative things before. These have just been fundamental in keeping my love for art as vivid and as intense as it's always been.
so today i decided i will start a new lino cut i'm working on this big flower design and this material is actually quite a bit softer than the brown i've used before so hopefully my wrist and shoulder won't be as much in pain once i'm finished <laughs> I didn't quite know when I was going to end this so I didn't really film an ending clip for this but thanks a lot for watching if you got here I hope you've enjoyed this video it's a bit different um but I've really been enjoying watching this type of video and I hope you enjoyed it as well and I wish you all a lovely week and I'll see you soon with a brand new video bye